Okay, the next team is uh, Ala Buffet. Thank you. 
has been a major shift in the eating of friends in the recent times. <coughs> Increase in the <coughs> population and working women segment means more people are eating out. Double income families and higher income means more amounts available to eat out. There has been a growing focus on the convenience, so people are more willing to spend people are willing, willing to spend more to make their life more comfortable and less stressful. Lastly, people are becoming more health conscious and, and want to avoid eating oily and junk food. As for the National Restaurant Association, the, the size of the eating out market was 2,40,000 crores in 2013 and is expected to double to 4 lakh crores in 2018. We are targeting the middle, upper middle class and middle class consumers, someone who want to have value for the time and money. Our consumers will be office goers who want to have quick and inexpensive lunch and families who want to go out and eat without having to spend a fortune. We conducted a market, market uh, research through SurveyMonkey. We asked respondents as to whether they were happy with the current time. response in the first year and build a strong brand and goodwill. Since the values to this industry are not very high, we will expand rapidly to avoid, uh, to avoid copying and capitalization on this model. We will make this model popular through Facebook, ad Facebook advertising, holdings and pamphlet distribution and corporate value discount. Handing over to Mubarak. Uh, so this slide shows you the cooperative pricing, that is the pricing of your current option. Now, while the buffet ranges from Rs. 400 to 1100 free tax, other cartes are also priced at around Rs. 400. Now, all these prices that we are mentioning are free tax prices. Coming to the QSRs, these are also priced from Rs. 200 to 300 per tax. And the smaller places, deliveries and deliveries, are priced at Rs. 250 to 300. Now, the last slide shows you an apples to apples comparison of what an equivalent meal that is of 500 grams of chicken gravy and two rotis will cost you at our restaurant. And we ensure you that it will cost you rupees 230 free tax at our innovator restaurant. Now, here we've compared the options based on pricing, ambience, health, speed, and variety. Now, as you can see, the buffets are very expensive, while the a la carte is lack on speed. And the QSRs might be well priced, but they lack on health and variety and cannot be eaten every day. Whereas our product um, ensures you great pricing, good ambience, and quick food, all with a large spread that is both healthy and delicious. Now, uh, this slide shows you the various types of meals that you could have. Uh, so there, uh, the, all these prices are uh, based on. Uh, Range from rupees 200 to 200 to uh, 225 free tax. So this makes our model a very competitive model based on the price. Over to start. This slide shows us the unit metrics for one mature restaurant. It's projected that it will make 5 million rupees in revenue per annum with 10.6% uh, as the VAT. The monthly cash flow uh, post tax would be 6.5 lakh. We'll start off with three restaurants in one city, or Hyderabad, and eventually expand to 25 cities, in 25 uh, restaurants in five cities. Now, this will happen in a span of three years. Our sales revenue will go from 100 million rupees to our sales revenue will go from 100 million rupees to 2,000 million rupees by the end of the fifth year. Oh, we assumed our GPM would remain constant and we didn't take into consideration the economies of scale. The EBITDA would, is, would be 15% and the, uh, price after, the profit after tax would be 9% at the end of the fifth year. But the capital exp expenditure payback would take um, a year and four months. One to two month period. Uh, our total our total capital expenditure is 230 million, 80 million of which we would generate internally, and 150 million we would get from investments. We require 35 million for the first three restaurants to prove the model, and once the model is proven, we would require another 115 million to set up the other 22 restaurants. So now I would like to introduce our
our core team. We have Warren, our CEO. We have Anusha, our operations director. We have Tanvi, our marketing director. And we have, we have Sadar, our finance director. And myself, the HR director. I would like to conclude, we would like to conclude by reiterating that ours is an innovative model. We have a committed management team and strong financials. With a regular capacity utilization of 46%, each unit will be profitable very quickly. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. How do you come up with your uh, so profitable 
pricing of the 200 or you know, the first package you want to for your unit cost. Yeah. Especially when you break it down into, let us say, I want like six small items. I mean, your cost suddenly went up. Because as opposed to taking one big item of which costs 200 rupees, or let us say, cost to 150 and you charge me 200. All of a sudden, you break it. I want six of them. I mean, for me, consumer it is good. I mean, I love it as a consumer. Yeah. But I'm still trying to better understand how you actually came up with your. Uh, so my being there is getting the numbers. Uh, it's actually all we actually spoke to a chef about this, right? And we kind of worked out the costings. We spoke to uh, sellers of paid of various raw materials, raw materials, and they gave and they gave us an idea of the market price. The chef gave us an idea about how much cost would it, how much would it cost to kind of develop the entire. Um, to develop. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You also. To this question, right? did you do a survey of what it actually cost yes. to rent the yeah. space, to rent yes. the restaurant space? Uh, it has to be a commercial company. Uh, so, we were, so we had identified certain locations in high-tech city. Uh, there is this one, especially there is this one location, uh, right next to Starbucks near high-tech city, there is one empty restaurant. Okay? Now, most of the ground floor space. Right for that. <coughs> now, more, yeah, there. So most of the ground floor spacing is is at about 100 rupees per square foot. But we don't. But since that's too expensive for us, uh, we want to take something and say the first floor or the second floor. And at that and that price, uh, at that floor, it's about 60 rupees per square foot, which we have accounted for in our model. Uh, and what's the typical floor plan? Yes. So yeah. So we have uh, we are planning on a 200 seater restaurant, right? Uh, yeah, so it's a 200 seater restaurant, so the thumb rule for the amount of space needed is 200 times 30 square foot, 30 square foot for each seat. Now this gives us about what, 6,000 square foot. Now 6,000 square feet is including the kitchen, so that's about 1,000 uh, square feet for the kitchen, so 5,000 remaining for the seats. Uh, so based on that, we have calculated all our uh, costs, and I could show it to you here, but um, it's accounted for all the costs, and based on that, uh, my CFO has given me the number. Uh, right there, 3.6 lakhs of rent <coughs> for your size. Right? Uh, yeah. Your, your monthly uh, revenues are less than 5 lakhs. 50 million per year, right? So yeah, so, so, so it's so like 4 lakhs revenues, but 3.6 is just a rent. So, so that's what I said, uh, in the first year. Okay, you will ask me. Yes. Right, in the first year, we're going to make uh, a certain amount of loss, and then. Uh, now, see, the thing is, why our capacity utilization is being considered to be greater than the others is because we are offering extreme value for money and extreme convenience, right? So we believe our capacity utilization would be much greater than those of other traditional restaurants. And that's why we believe that our uh, profit is going to increase very rapidly as the financial year starts. What utilization did you We started with, we assumed a 40% utilization in the first month, uh, then 50 in the second month. Uh, 60 and then 50, 60 and then 70 percent constant, and 70 it remains 70 percent constant uh, after four. Good job, guys. But it's a good dream, right? It's not a great idea. I have to tell that. And I'm not too sure whether you understood how complex it is to run a restaurant or the food business, right? And looking at your pricing model, you are trying to compete with Paradise by showing it 10 rupees cost advantage, right? That's what your pricing says. Can you go back to one slide before or one slide after? One more. Yeah. No, no, next one. Somewhere. One yeah. next one pricing. Yeah. So you wanted to provide chicken dish plus two rotis at 230 rupees in the great ambience that you want to create like a Starbucks. As against the paradise which is going to provide the same thing for 240. You need to think on how difficult it is for you to compete with paradise and still be a winner in this business. Uh, so the thing is, now there is a, there's a mere 10 rupee difference in, with, in terms of pricing, but we are also offering the new model that we have talked about where each dish is provided in small portions. So we believe that unit pricing is an extremely advantageous um, concept for the consumer, right? And, and that's why on, on the basis of the model, we believe that our business will turn out to be the winner because uh, you know, it is ours in an innovative, innovative model as compared to the other traditional restaurants. So, based on just the price, yes, uh, we are not good. compared to Paradise. Okay, we are just a little bit less expensive, 
But in terms of a model to be, that we believe that we definitely do. Sure, yeah. Think through the challenges, right? It's a great thinking, but you need to understand and recognize the challenges in executing this business. It's more execution intense than you know, any intellectual property or anything that you guys are planning to build. Okay, good job. Yeah. Market research did you do? Uh, that's, that's so, we sent, uh, we used Survey Monkey for the primary market research and we sent out the questionnaires to 250 people, around 250 people. We sent them to various offices to ask, uh, and we got about 131 people who responded. And then from that, we found out that 45% of the people went out to eat about 6 to 10 times a month. That mean, after, on an average, that means about they eat out for two weeks, two times a week. And about 20% went out more than 10 times. So from there, we asked, uh, we asked the people what the issues they faced were. And they told us that 33% 33% of the people told us that their issues they faced was high pricing. 23% told us about high waiting time. 17% told us about high waiting time for food and bill. The other issues they brought up was bad service, more, wanting more cuisines and wanting more healthy options. <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, to sum it all up, in the beginning, we always knew that there was a problem with traditional dining systems, right? But then, uh, we wanted to be sure so we conducted this market research. We knew there was a problem with the pricing as well as the waiting time for the food. But uh, when we did our market research, we also found that a lot of customers were concerned about the billing, about the time taken for billing, and that is why to accommodate for that, to alleviate that pain point, we accommodated the prepaid uh, RFID system. So that's the so I mean to give you a general gist of uh, the entire uh, market research that we did. That's basically you know what we kind of did to take into account the pain points. Thank you. Uh, but then we have um, so, uh, the, the mentor of this team is uh, Munikathana. Munikathana also happens to be the, the founding partner of the program in Hyderabad. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Munikathana, you are the founder of Hyderabad Food Hub. Uh, can you tell us about the company and how it has